fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, we're on the trail of outlaws. Well, Silver, power! Although the name of the Lone Ranger was known throughout the West, there were many parts of that vast territory where he and Tonto had never been seen, where a man who wore a mask and carried two guns strapped low on his hips meant nothing more or less than another outlaw. And so one day, when a Pony Express rider had galloped into a line camp near High Valley... That's what I'm telling you, gents. I caught a glimpse of him as I was angling west along Branch Creek. A masked man and an engine. Did they see you? No. They must be outlaws. An outlaw and a renegade engine. Oh, easy, son. How come they didn't see you? It seems to me outlaws would keep out of sight unless they were planning to do robbing or killing me. Well, they didn't see me because they were riding in the middle of the stream. The splashing drowned out the sound of my horse. Uh... What'd they look like? Well, like I said, I'll this... tighten your cinch, lad. Don't be so far jumpy. All you told us is they were a masked man and a redskin. You guys give a better description than that? Well, yeah, I reckon so. The engine rode a paint, but the other fellow, the one that was masked, rode the biggest and fastest horse I ever saw in my life. That's well, sure. Certain sure. That horse could travel a Pony Express route and beat a dozen of our best. He was a white stallion, uh... just as white as the snow on top of old Baldy Mountain, and he... What's wrong, mister? Your eyes are popping. Uh, a white stallion. Did you hear that, Nibbins? Yeah, yeah, Moss Beck. It sounds like, like a that outlaw we heard about back east a ways. Outlaw? But, sure, but I... sure, Nibbins. You remember that outlaw. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, outlaw. Say, you just know who he is? Yes, son. He goes around claiming he's a Lone Ranger. Claiming? You mean he's not the Lone Ranger? Well, do you think so? Well, no. No, of course not. I said he was an outlaw, didn't I? But, say, come to think of it, I... I've heard stories about the Lone Ranger, and now that you bring it up, that masked gent does fit the description. But you've never seen the Lone Ranger, have you? Well, nobody around here has. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, son, you're right. Those two are a couple of the worst outlaws in the West. They are? And the worst part of it is, they pretend to be the Lone Ranger and his engine partner, Savvy. So what happens? What? They go into a town. Well, folks are figuring it's a Lone Ranger, and while they're off their guard, they up and rob a bank. God. Yeah. They talk to a stage driver before he starts. Maybe in the dark the night before. Masked man makes out he's a lone ranger. Then the next day on the trail, what happens? What? There they are, telling him to stop. So he stops, thinking nothing wrong. They shoot him, son. They shoot him without warning. Take the Wells Fargo Express money and vamoose. Gosh, they're mighty slick, aren't they? Watch out for him, boy. They robbed the Pony Express before this. Oh, I sure will, stranger. And thanks for the warning. It's all right, son. It's all right. Glad to oblige. Hey, Randy! Yeah, Jake? Here's your fresh horse. You better hit the trail or the Pony Express will be late. Kino, Jake. 
Well, I gotta travel, gents. Pony Express can't wait for nothing. Adios. Adios, Sammy. Remember what I told you. I sure will, mister. Get up, Pony. Get up there, boy. Mossback, what kind of yarn did you feed him? You know well as I do, that masked man was a Lone Ranger. And furthermore, he's after us. Sure he is, Nivens. That's why I spread that yarn. Huh? The Lone Ranger's been trailing us for two weeks, hasn't he? Well, nearer three. He knows all about us robbing that gold mine back at Little Wolf. We've outfooled the sheriff and the posse and everybody else. But no matter how much we cover our trail and double back, the Lone Ranger stays right behind us. They're getting closer all the time. Yeah, we can't outrun him. So we got to outsmart him. Oh, I begin to savvy. You know, not many folks around here ever had a glimpse of the Lone Ranger, huh? It came to me like a flash, Nevins. That kid does a lot of talking. That's the kind he is. You know, spread it high, wide, and handsome. <laughs> All the way from here to High Valley. When the masked man comes along, nobody will stop to talk. They'll start shooting as soon as they see him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. Yeah, but hold on. How's that going to help us, Mossbeck? It's going to help us plenty, Nevins. It's going to help us to get the Lone Ranger. Now, let's get out of here. Boss Beck and Nevins are a hard pair to catch up with, Tunnel. Uh, they got plenty fast horses. Fast horses and Boss Beck as clever as a fox. How long has it been now? We followed trail for 20 days now. The trail no one else can figure out but you, Kimosabe. And you too. At least we're getting closer all the time. We never in this country before, huh? No. For some reason, we haven't hit this territory before. We're someplace near a town called High Valley. Ah, this go long Pony Express Trail. Right up, Tunnel Wolf Silver. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, what matter, Kimosabe? There's a log cabin up ahead on that ridge. Oh, time to see it now. One cabin and a corral. Must be a way station for Pony Express riders. There's one rider now. Him change horses, see? He must have come from High Valley, Tonto. I have a feeling that that's where our trail leads. You think Mossback and Nevin... Yes. There's no reason why they shouldn't ride into town. They're unknown around here. They could easily pose as cow hands or buffalo hunters. Ah, uh, maybe Pony Express riders see him, huh? We'll wait along the trail. He'll be leaving soon. <laughs> Bring any news from High Valley? Oh, nothing except I spread word about those outlaws I saw. You mean the ones you saw on your last trip coming the other way? Yeah. Watch out for them, Jake. A masked man and a redskin. And don't let them tell you they're the Lone Ranger in his park. Sure thing. They won't fool me. Here. I switch the saddlebag to your new mount. Better travel. <coughs> I'm on my way. See you in two days. Adios. Keep your rifle handy. Watch out for trouble. Adios, Jake. I'll be watching. Get up, boy. Come on. Get up. Stay in trees till him get close? No, we might as well go out alongside the trail. But Kimasambi, you wear a mask. I'll keep my hat pulled down low so my mask will be in the shadow. As long as we look peaceful, he won't get alarmed. Uh, get around, Scott. Yeah. This way, Silver. No, him not see us yet. No, he's checking his stirrups, buddy. Now he sees us. Hello! Hi, you! Get out, horse! Hold on, we want to ask you something. You can't fool me. Kimasabi, look out. You're not the Lone Ranger. And don't try to stop the Pony Express. You're not hurt. No, he missed us both, Tonto. But look at him ride. What matter him? Maybe him loco, huh? We ride after him? No. But him shoot at us. We catch him. Silver and Scout catch him easy. No, Tonto. Let him go. Huh? Did you hear what he said after he fired? Uh, him say something about Lone Ranger. Yes, he said, you're not the Lone Ranger. That heap strange. Very strange. I've never met him before. I had my hat pulled down to conceal my mask. But everybody hear about you, Kimasabi. That's possible. Yet, why should he sound so positive? Why should he shoot without warning? We follow him, we find out. Now he's riding the Pony Express. He's got to keep traveling. There's a guard at that way station. We'll talk to him. Maybe him shoot, too. We'll make sure he doesn't. This time we'll be more careful. We'll be on top of him before he knows it. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Forge. 
fortune and none of my own. Oh, take it easy, pony. How oh, tarnation can I rub you down if you don't hold still? Oh, gone and stop acting so spooky. There's nothing to be scared of. I got my peel all around. There isn't an engine or a trail scout that could sneak up on me. Raise with your hand. Uh, hey, what? what? Hello, that is his gun belt. Um, he do it. Uh, oh, turn around. But the, the masked man, the masked man in the engine. Well, you sneaked up on me. I didn't want you reaching for your guns as soon as you saw us. You can't fool me, mister. Besides, there's nothing here worth stealing. Now, just a minute. Can't fool you about what? Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to slick talk me. I heard all about you from those two gents passing through. You're not the Lone Ranger. You loco him, Lone Ranger, for sure. You can talk all you like, Injun. A mighty slick scheme, but you it won't... You said something about two men who passed along this trail. Yeah. Yeah, the ones who told me. Told Randy, too. And he told every soul in High Valley. Whatever you're planning, masked man, you won't get away with it. Tell me one thing. Now, those two men, were their names uh, Mossbeck and Nevin? Mossbeck and Nevin? But I won't tell you. <laughs> you already have. Thanks. I thought it might have been them. You'd better skedaddle, both of you. Everybody's ready for you. We don't fool around with outlaws in this neck of the woods. We go out and get them. You crazy like local maverick. This fella, him lone ranger, now, him... Never mind, Toto. Mossbeck and Evans went on to High Valley? Why, what if they did? What's your name? Jake. Well, Jake, uh, suppose I told you Mossbeck and Evans weren't telling the truth. <laughs> suppose I told you that they're the outlaws, not Tonto and I. Oh, no! Oh, no, you don't. I know bad men when I see them. Those two gents were all right. Oh, I, I was afraid you'd take that attitude. All right, Jake, you believe this? I'm going to hold up the Pony Express on its next trip. Kim Asabi, you uh, How about it, Jake? Uh, what are you telling me for? The saddlebags will be full of checks and drafts of credit. They're made out to bear. Anyone can use them. Would you believe that? You you can't rob the Pony Express, can you? Now don't move, Jake. You, of course I've had you. Your bullet cut the reins right in half. Did you think you could get away and ride to High Valley to spread the alarm? Uh, that was my idea. <laughs> Too bad, Jake. But you're not getting away. Time up, Tonto. Uh, but me not savvy. Yeah, I'll help you. Time up. Yeah, it's long after dark, Silver. Take it easy, boy. Take it easy, Silver. Hi! Hi, Kimasabi. What happened to Jake? What about Jake, Tonto? Him gone. That's right. I heard him leave. Huh? He sneaked to the corral and took one of the horses. I heard him lead the horse away before he got in the saddle. But how him get loose? Well, when we tied him up, I tied the knots loosely, Tonto. I wanted him to get away. Oh, Tonto not savvy anything. You know where he'll go, don't you? Sure. Him go straight to High Valley. Him bring posse heap quick. That's just what I want him to do, Tonto. But do you hear what him say? You not Lone Ranger. Posse maybe catch us. Yeah, they might. Uh, Kimasabi, what this all about? Pony Express bring drafts, like you say? I didn't say that, Tonto. As far as I know, there'll be nothing special in the saddlebags. I only asked Jake if he'd believe me if I did say that. And uh, I think Mossbeck and Nevins will believe it, too. Mossbeck and Nevins? Oh, now, Tonto, see what you do. You set trap for outlaw, huh? Turnabout's <laughs> fair play, Tonto. Mossbeck and Nevins thought they had us. They figured they'd get everyone in High Valley ready to shoot us on sight. Ah. They set a trap for us. Now, we're setting one for them. Listen, Kimosabe, here's my plan. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. It took Jake about four hours to ride to High Valley, pressing his horse all the way. When he got there, he roused up the marshal. The excitement of his arrival brought a crowd of men over in front of the marshal's office. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Hey, something wrong, marshal? Need some deputies? It sure looks that way, mister. Gents, you all know Jake. He just rode all the way from the Pony Express cabin on Rock Ridge. Speak up, Jake. Tell him. Well, fellas, it's that mast armor. Oh, yeah, the mast armor and the engine. They tied me up and put me in the shed. But I got loose of the ropes and made it here as fast as it could. Uh, say, hold on a second. 
You mean the outlaw who pretends he's the Lone Ranger? That's the one. Did he try to convince you? He sure did, Mossbeck. He tried his doggone this. But like the motto says, forewarned is forearmed. I didn't believe a word of it. Well, 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 quiet. Well, well, quiet down, you hombres. There's more. You ain't heard the important part. Jens, those two outlaws plan to hold up the westbound Pony Express tomorrow. That's young Randy Perkins. Yeah, Randy Perkins. And he'll be carrying a lot of valuable papers, letters of credit, drafts on the Wells Fargo Bank. Those two armies plan to hold him up. That's why they roped me. Uh, Jake, sure. Jake, let me get this straight. Did the, uh, did the masked man actually say he was going to hold up Randy Perkins? Well, no, no, not exactly. But I can read between the lines. He didn't say that, huh? No, but it's as plain as a nose on my face what he means to do. Well, it seems to Dad, me that... never let's stop all this talk. Maybe they're still out there. Maybe they went to sleep and don't even know I got away. Marshal, I'm asking you, get up a posse. Head for Rock Ridge right now. We'll catch him before they know what's happened. Kino. All right, gents. Get your horses, pack your guns, and move fast. We're heading for Rock Ridge. All right, all right. All right. Sounds loco to me. Why should the Lone Ranger tie Jake up? Yeah, I've been figuring that, Nevins. Maybe you had to tie him up. On account of Jake wouldn't believe who he was. Yeah, maybe. That explains that, all right. What's all this about the Pony Express? Nevins, the way I've been figuring it out, the Lone Ranger was trying to, to warn Jake that Perkins would be carrying valuable papers. Maybe he was telling Jake to be careful there wasn't a whole lot. And Jake got it all twisted? That makes sense, don't it? Oh, well, they reached the cabin. Suppose the Lone Ranger's there now. I don't know. That depends. On what? Well, if him or the engine learned Jake got away. And now I'll bet they up on the left. What for? Oh, don't be loco. The masked man must have realized everybody else got the same attitude Jake has. He figured where Jake went. They wouldn't want any part of a pussy. Well, I don't hear any shooting, Mossbeck. I reckon they've been moose. Hey, Marshal. Yeah, mister. Where you been? My horse got a stone this you. I had to stop. Nevins kept me company. How about it? How about what? I didn't hear any shooting. There wasn't any shooting. Cabin was empty. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, but we're not stopping. Trouble isn't over yet. Why not? <laughs> I can see you don't know much about crooks, Mr. Mosbeck. <laughs> no, I, uh, I can't say that I do. Why isn't there trouble over him? Well, Jake put his finger on it. Tell him, Jake. Those two haven't given up yet. I'll wedge they still plan to hold up Randy Perkins. They'll just do it someplace else instead of here. Sure, I never thought of that. They'll do it somewhere east of here. Someplace between here and Branch Creek. Well, why not use a telegraph wires and warn Randy before he starts? Isn't any telegraph. No, sir. We got to do what I told the marshal. Which is? We got to split up and start riding east. We got to drop off in pairs and cover the trail Randy Perkins is going to take. And as each pair meets Randy, why, they turn around and keep on coming west with him. That way he'll have a regular bodyguard. And it'll keep getting stronger all the time. Say, that's a right slick idea. Yeah, but suppose we're all spread out and some of us see the mash man. That's a chance we'll just have to take. But if any of us see the mash man and the engine, why, we'll just light out after him. Right, boys? Oh, sure, sure, sure. We know it's a mask man who's going to do the hold-up if anybody does. So it's just as good keeping after him and his part as it'd be keeping watch over Randy. Right. Only we know where Randy will be, so that's the safer way to start. Yeah, I guess you're right, Marshal. Say, how about me and Evans going all the way east and being the first pair to meet up with Randy? That all right with you? Fine. Go ahead. Hear that, Silver? That's Tonto. Go over that way. Hi. Hi, Kimosabe. This way. Steady, boy. Steady. Ooh. Well, Tonto, you've been watching the trail east? Ah. Uh, it's still dark. You hear men right east, but me not know who they are. I can tell you who they are, Toto. Oh, you want your cabin? I was close by, hidden in the grass when Jake led the posse back. Oh. Toto, what you heard was a posse. They're going to drop off pair by pair until they're covering the whole trail from Rock Ridge to Branch Creek. Oh, that's a good idea. It's not so good, Toto, because Moss Beck and Nevins were with that posse. And what's more, they're going to be the pair that'll meet Randy Perkins. You see what that means? Oh, Kimasambi, that means trouble for... Pony Express rider. I'm certain that Mossbeck and Nevins plans to knock him out or worse, to get out his saddlebags. Ah, uh, but nothing in saddlebags. They think there is, and it's up to us to trap them. Kimasabi, why posse not ride all together? Why they not go east 
Right back with Randy, huh? Yeah, you forget, Toto. They can't keep up with him. He's a Pony Express rider. His horse is fast. Oh, plenty fast. Jake is the only one in the posse who has a Pony Express horse. He's already been to High Valley and back. His horse will be tired. Uh, we ride east now? How long ago did the posse leave? Before dawn. Maybe hour. Good. Then follow me. We'll stop as soon as we sight the first pair of men. Get him up. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Lone Ranger and Tonto traveled east along the trail. Thirty minutes passed. Forty. Then the masked man reined up. There they are, Tonto. Steady, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that one, him, Jake. The other one with him is the Marshal of High Valley. I saw him in the light of the campfire on Rock Ridge. Others further ahead, huh? Yes, they're spread out toward the east. Now, what do we do now? We go tell Marshal and Jake who we are? Careful, Tonto. We tried that once. Uh, what? What do you mean? We talked to Jake. He wouldn't believe us. No reason to assume that he and the Marshal will believe us now. Mm, that's right. But Kimosabi, we do something. They see us. What will they do? Why, they shoot at us. We can stay out of range of their guns. What else will they do? They try to catch us. That's it, Tonto. As soon as they see us, they'll come after us. We're going to ride straight east, straight along the trail for Branch Creek. And every man in that posse is going to trail along after us. We'll make sure of that. By the time we get to where Mossbeck and Nevins are waiting, we'll have that whole posse behind us. Ready? Uh huh. Me ready. And here we go. Come on, big fella. Hit the trail. Get him up. Come on, Silver. Getting on toward noon, Jake. Yeah, I reckon all the boys must be pretty close to where they belong by now. Except in toward the east. Mossbeck and Evans will take a while longer. I sure wish we'd caught that mask, Hombre. Same here. I tell you, Marshal, if he hadn't got the drop on me from behind, I'd have whipped out my guns and beat him to the draw. Yes, sir. I'd have brought him into jail myself. Come on, Silver. Uh, hey, uh, what in tarnation? Where's my gun? What, where's, where's my gun? Horses back there riding like a prairie fire. I didn't even get a chance to draw. Near me. They're heading east, Marshal. Well, don't stand there with your mouth open catching flies. Hey. We got horses. Come on, let's get after them. Get, get, get them. Come on, get them. On and on sped the Lone Ranger and Tonto, heading east along the trail of the Pony Express. They galloped just fast enough to keep their followers in sight. But each time they neared another pair of deputies, they speeded up, rode past them like twin thunderbolts. And every time the surprised deputies were left behind and took up the chase behind the white stallion in the paint. They're still ahead of us. We're shaving them inside anyhow. Come on, horse. I just hope they don't get ready before Mossbeck and Nevins can stop. Come on, get it. As slick as a whistle, Nevins. When Randy comes along, he'll stop as soon as we hail him. Sure. He takes us for friends. You get behind him while I give him warning about the mask, man. As soon as I shout, look out. And you hit him hard with the butt of your guns, heavy. Yeah. We'll empty out his saddlebags while he's unconscious. We'll head into the woods and hide him under a rock. And back we come here, tear our clothes a little, shoot off a few bullets, and lay down on the ground. <laughs> when Randy comes to, you figure the masked man and the engine surprised all three of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a cinch. Mossbeck. Yeah, it's a kid. Get ready, Nevis. Here he comes. Randy! Randy Perkins! Hold on! Oh, boy! Hold there! Oh, oh, boy! Well, I declare. Howdy, gents. I'm in an all-fired hurry. Can't slow down a Pony Express. Hey, what are you doing around here? Howdy, Randy. It's a masked man on the engine. They're out to rob the Pony Express. What? A posse came out from High Valley. There's deputies posted all the way along. That mask, hombre, may be any place. Maybe right here. Look out! What? Oh! Nice going, Nevins. Come on now. Let's empty these saddlebags. Uh, what about Randy? Let him lay. Maybe we'll put a bullet in him later. But right now, check over all these packages and these letters. We'll find the ones that have the money in them. What in blazes? Nevins! Come on, Ranger. Pass it right behind him. We're caught in the act. No, you don't. There are your real criminals. Want to arrest somebody? Put them under arrest. Well, I'll be doggone. Mossbeck, you almost got away with blaming these two for your own tricks. What have you got to say for yourself? Well, if it hadn't been for the Lone Ranger, we'd so have got this. this. Mass fella is a Lone Ranger. Well, doggone my hide. <laughs> That's one on you, Jake. Oh, I knew it all the time. Sure, knew it all the time. Here, you cutters. We're not in jail yet. Watch that fellow. He's got another gun. Oh, my hand. You're not hurt. 
Just shot the gun from your hand. Say, did you ever see such shooting, Marshal? Thanks, masked man. We'll put these hombres in jail pronto. We're mighty sorry we misunderstood That's about you. That's all right, Marshal, as long as it's straightened out. We've been trailing Moss Beck and Nevins for weeks. They robbed a gold mine back on the Little Wolf. Yeah? Well, you can tell the sheriff back there we got his prisoners. We'll hold him till he sends for them. And adios, Marshal. We're hitting the trail. Adios. Go now. Get them up, scout. More silver. All right, you two coyotes up in the saddle. Yeah. All right. How's Randy, Jake? Oh, he's fine, Marshal. Got no more than a little bump on his head. He'll be as chipper as a kitten. Say, you know, gents, now that I look at these two skunks and then... Look at the mask man riding away. I just can't figure it out. Well, these two armies, they, they look like crooks. But that mask man, why, he's the living image of a, of a real man. Well, he's the Lone Ranger, Jake. Yeah. How could I ever have doubted it? just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 